This time, it's all about the old woman holding a candle. Are you ready to face the fear? This is a story told to me by a senior when I was teaching at an elementary school. The senior was about 50 years old, a burly man. Back in his youth, the senior enjoyed cycling, often going on rides alone to various places. After finishing his university entrance exams and finding himself with too much free time on his hands, he impulsively decided to visit G Prefecture overnight. I don't remember the details well, but one thing led to another, and he ended up deciding to spend the night at a certain station in G Prefecture. The senior was quite accustomed to sleeping outdoors, so he prepared his bed without any hesitation. Even after getting into his sleeping bag, he couldn't fall asleep. It was pitch black at the deserted station. Dark, dark, dark. As he gazed into the darkness, a light approached. What is it? Focusing his eyes, he saw a candle. A candle held by an old woman. What is she doing? The old woman asked in a relatively cheerful voice. Reassured by her tone, the senior explained that he ended up sleeping there due to his circumstances. Then, with a sympathetic look, the old woman said, eat this, and took out a bowl of rice from her bag. Surprised, the senior asked, what is this? Ah, it might be hard to eat just rice, she replied, and placed her wristwatch on the still warm rice. In the dim light of the candle, the watch appeared unusually red, with something that looked like skin attached to it. Panicking, the senior grabbed his sleeping bag and ran away. That's all there is to the story. It was mostly incomprehensible, but it was terrifying nonetheless. You made it back alive from G Prefecture, huh, senior? I wonder if the owner of the watch ended up being done in by a resident of G Prefecture. Jokes aside, if this story is true, it's really terrifying. For those who are curious about what happens next, why not take a trip to G Prefecture?